Hello everyone, this is Thomas Kincaid, the painter of light. Now I used to do two or three cottage paintings a year. I love painting cozy little structures. In fact, many of you remember one of the amazing success stories of my early life as an artist was when I painted Chandler's Cottage. Chandler's Cottage was a daydreamy place. It was based on a real cottage that I visited when I was living in the Cotswolds. So Chandler's Cottage set the tone for a series of paintings. Of course, I did Merritt's Cottage, another painting that became uh, well-known, identified with my use of light. When Windsor was born, I created a manor house to celebrate her birth, Windsor Manor, and of course, Evie inspired Everett's Cottage, which was again a tribute not only to my child, but to the sense of home, the sense of coziness that I find when I see cottage architecture. Uh, heck, I've lived in a cottage. I lived in a cottage that was over a thousand years old when Nanette and I lived in England. Now we would take a walk every evening and we would often play a little game where we'd imagine which cottage we would like to call home. Now, there was a cottage right on the water that Nanette would always say, that's my favorite, I wish we could live there that very cottage that we saw as a young married couple and daydreamed of living in. Well, Nanette, this cottage is for you. Nanette's Cottage, of course, my first ever tribute in cottage form to my life partner, Nanette. And I have done some very creative, I think, and interesting details within the painting that have a lot of meaning. For one thing, a cottage is a place that celebrates the phases of life. It's a place where family memories come to life. Of course, in my painting, you'll see the little teddy bear sitting in the rowboat in front of the cottage. That is very symbolic to me, one of childhood, because Nanette's teddy bear was her friend. Of course, why a rowboat? We love to get out on the water, and when we were in England, we often had the chance to go to the Broadwater, which was the village fishing grounds where fly fishermen would come in and work the waters. And of course, there were rowboats there and we would love to go floating upon the water. Of course, the cottage is on the waterway that leads to the village. You see the little filigree bridge in the mid distance there. And it's perhaps a way to get across the water and to head into the village along the village path. Now, towering over the village is the spire of the village church, perhaps one of the monumental cathedrals of England. You often see a tiny village that has a disproportionately large cathedral spire. And of course, this is evidence that at one time, maybe it was quite a large and growing village, maybe even a small city. Of course, there are hidden ends in the painting, 25 hidden ends, and perhaps the most obvious one right there on the chimney. So if you look carefully, you'll see a heart above the hidden end on the chimney there for Nanette's cottage. Now, she has never, in all those years, hundreds and hundreds of published paintings, she has never had the chance to do a hand-done painted remark on the painting itself. So this is going to be a first. She will be hand painting a heart on each of the special Nanette's edition. Now, that is a rare edition. That is going to be a very collectible piece. So look for the hidden heart that is hand painted by Nanette. That will be just above the end that is on the side of the chimney. Now, as we dim the lights on Nanette's cottage, you will see a new palette effect that has been very exciting to me. I've been able to utilize subtle, cooler tones within the painting as a way to emphasize the light. This is an effect that especially 
shows off the dimming light. As you bring the lights down, you will see the glow within the cottage radiate all the more. So this painting, Nanette's Cottage, is a package of memories for me, and it is a bundle of hopeful images that are strung together to remind us that home is important, family is important, and that you can find joy in your life as you look upon those undisturbed waters surrounding the cottage. You too can be reminded of the joys of a simpler time and be reminded of good things yet to come. Now this is Thomas Kincaid thanking each of you for sharing the light.